What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl here, and I want to come in and talk to you about Miss Jessica Brown, honey. Miss Jessica Brown from the Gorilla Glue um, girl that put that stuff in her hair. Okay, she is fighting back. Now, according to TMZ, this is what's going down. Gorilla Glue Girl sends cease and desist to blogger blogger calling her a liar. Now, wait a minute now. you can't. There's a lot of bloggers out there who's talking about this situation and saying that she's, just, you know, she wasn't telling the truth. It's just not one blogger, okay? You can't go after one. I mean, everybody was talking about this, not just one. So that's kind of unfair. But let me go ahead and continue. A popular blogger has been calling Tessica Brown, a.k.a. Gorilla Glue Girl, a bold-faced liar who made the whole saga up and scammed the world. But Tessica is now saying the blogger better shut up or shut it up or risk getting dragged into court. An attorney repping Tessica management team fired off a cease and desist letter to the person who appears to run the IG and Twitter accounts, Gossip of the City. What? Now, I, I've seen a lot of stuff from Gossip of the City. Wow. Okay. Telling them to stop spreading the claim that Tessica Brown hustled everybody into thinking she sprayed Gorilla Glue into her hair. Oh, this is not going to be cute. Mm. Let's continue. The account has been posting about it for several days now, including messages and videos to both accounts, which have close to 610,000 combined followers, insisting Tessica is a liar and that she pulled a fast one, especially on those who donated money to her. The account even reposted a 15-minute video from another woman who claimed to have sprayed Gorilla Glue in her own hair, trying to debunk Tessica's account. The post read, salute to this sister who actually deserves the money y'all donated to that liar. Hashtag girl bye. Now I've seen the video. I think, I, I'm not, what's her name? Something December. I think I've seen her video when she was debunking the Tessica Brown um spray and stuff like that. So I don't know how this is going to play out. To so that, Tessica's lawyer said her predicament was neither con contrived nor a joke and to suggest otherwise is wrong. Her attorney, Jeffrey Klein, says Gossip of the City is defaming Tessica and warns the account's operator that they're on thin ice. Hmm. It's clear that a lawsuit could be filed if the account keeps it up. We're told this letter was sent last friday yet most of the posts still seem to be live as of now so what do you want them to do take down their stuff that's not fair do you know how many listen a lot of bloggers talk about different things okay and just because someone has an opinion that doesn't agree with yours does not mean that they defaming i don't see how she's defaming her there's so many people out there who think this is that she pulled a fast one a lot of people so what are you going to do say Cease and desist letters to everyone that thinks that she pulled a fast one. There's a lot of bloggers out there who feel like she pulled a fast one. There's people who are not bloggers who feel like she pulled a fast one. Okay? So what are you, I mean, what are you going to do? Oh, so, Gossip of the City even acknowledged the cease and desist in a separate post calling it fake. We've been assured by Tessica's team, though, that it's very much real and they mean business. So now she has a team. Tessica Brown now has a team and she has lawyers. Because she put the glue in her hair. I don't, somebody help me understand this. Please. Yeah, something telling us she's telling the truth. Hard to believe anybody will go through that just for this gag. Let me tell you something. People go through a lot of different things for gags, okay? There's a lot of people out there who would do things just to get an attention. Now, whether she knew or she didn't know, Gorilla Glue Spray okay it's for crafts wood fabrics all the other stuff is not to be put on your skin is not to be put on your hair 
You cannot, they have warning labels for a reason. You cannot put that stuff on any parts of your body. And Gorilla Glue Spray is powerful. So if it gets stuck on your hand, you got to fight to get the mess off. You know what? How y'all feel about this? How do y'all feel about Tessica Brown sending a cease and desist order to Gossip of the City? And she has a team. How she go from having no team to a team? I don't know. I don't know. But like I said before, so many people were saying, you know, so many people were saying that, you know, she, um, that this wasn't, you know, she did this for fame. It's not just one person. So what are they going to do? Go through, go to even people who not, um, don't have a blog and say, well, if you don't stop talking about this, this is going to happen. Like, there's a way to handle things. Maybe she should have reached out to gossip of the city behind the scenes and say, hey, can I speak to you? Listen, what happened to me is not fake, okay? It's not fake. But people have an opinion. You can't stop people from having an opinion. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Y'all let me know in the comment section. What do you think about all this stuff? I had a feeling... I had a feeling when this whole stuff went down and when she got herself together and everything, I'm glad the glue is out of her hair. I'm happy that she can go on with her life. But I had a feeling that this part of it was going to come. I didn't know who it was going to go to, but I had a feeling that if something wasn't said that wasn't in her favor or to debunk the fact that she had Gorilla Glue on her hair, I had a feeling this was going to happen. I had a feeling this was going to happen, but I said, maybe not. You know, I gave it the benefit of the doubt. I said, oh, maybe not. And here we are. And of course, TMZ is reporting it. So there you have it. Well, let me know in the comment section, guys. What do you think about all of this? Because I feel like a lot of people out there were debunking this. Well, what they were saying that, you know, um, she she scammed the world. You know, people went as, as far as calling it a scam. So I don't, I, I just, what are you going to do? You going to like tell the people who are saying that you are a scam who are not bloggers to be quiet, you know, stop saying this, stop saying that. Like there's a way to handle things. And I think that if you got a problem with somebody, try to reach out behind the scenes first before sending out a cease and desist order, you know, reach out. I mean, if you were talking to celebrities behind the scenes about trying to get some hair and everything, talk to the bloggers behind the scenes. Be like, hey, you know what? This really did happen. No BS. You know, let's talk about this. Could you please stop saying that I'm scamming or stop calling me a liar? There's ways to handle this. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know in the comment section, guys, how y'all feel about this.